Hi guys, and welcome back to Temple Turnings here in a very wet and windy uh, Sligo in Ireland. Um, you're all very welcome back. Uh, this is part two of the Pandora box. Um, this week um, we're going to turn the lid, um, a finial for the lid, and also there's an insert that goes inside um, that kind of makes like a little secret compartment. I'll explain that as we go on. I've got this second piece of beach, again with some nice figure in it. Now it did have a crack in it that I filled with CA, so we'll see how we get on with that. But uh, I'm going to use that for both the lid and the insert. So uh, we'll go over to the lathe and uh, we'll put it between centres and uh, I'll explain what we're going to do next. Okay, so as usual, we're going to uh, we're going to make this round and I'm going to use my, um, my inch and a quarter um, roughing gouge. Okay, as you can see, this is the crack that I was talking about that I put some CA into. Um, I think I'm going to avoid that completely because it's only going to cause trouble. I think it's okay further down. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I don't need this whole piece of wood anyway. Um, the insert is, is only roughly about that deep. And then we've got our lid. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put a tenon on both ends of this. So I'm gonna bring this down here, just where the where the crack is, and get rid of that piece of wood altogether. Uh, bring a tenon down that end and that end. That way I can cut it in half and I can put it into the chuck either way. Um, so we'll we'll crack on with that. Okay, so that's the two tenons put on. I'll, uh, I'll get it put into the chuck and I'll be back to you in one second. Okay, so we're in the chuck. Um, just remember when you're making your tenon uh, to put into the chuck, to try and make it this kind of just off the smallest that the chuck can go because it, it'll have the best grip on the piece because it's more round. Because obviously the bigger it goes, the more misshaped. If you look at your chuck and open it, as you open it, it gets less round, so it's got less surface to hold onto the piece. So just, just always bear that in mind to uh, keep your tenons as small as you possibly can go. Um, okay, so we're gonna work out what we need for this piece. I'm just gonna get my ruler. All right, so I'm gonna put a lid on this. We're gonna work on the lid first, but I wanna make sure that I leave enough for my insert going into this. Um, which is, uh, if I give myself 50 mil, um, that'd be plenty, which is two inches. Um, which is roughly about there. And then the rest can be my lid. So uh, this will be the lid, and this will be my insert. I'll explain the insert um, in a bit. It's just like a little thing that I've put into these boxes, just, just as, it just looks cool. Um, 
Right, I'm just going to put the thin part in tool there so it gives me a line, just, just go down a small bit and then we'll start working on the shape of the lid. Okay, so I've got the piece in for our lid. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, I'm going to turn the tenon down that's going to be going into the top of the box and getting that to fit properly. And then I'm going to uh, I'm going to hollow out inside because it's going to be a hollow lid. Um, and then shape, reverse chuck it, and then do our final shape. Um, so we'll work on that. We'll get the tenon down and then I'm going to hollow out the, uh, the lid um, to, to where I want it. Okay, so that's that's the size I want. But um, I'm gonna from there on, I'm gonna make just slightly bigger, um, and then work it down slowly till it's the right size for the for the box. That's perfect. That's exactly what I want. That's a nice, a nice fit. Okay, so uh, I'm going to hollow that out now, and um, and then work on my final shape. Then um, the reason why I'm hollowing it as well, well, is that I can reverse chuck that then onto my smaller chuck, and uh, I can work on the shape as much as I want without. Put, having to put the the chuck on my finished uh, cup just here and, and worrying about squashing it or misshaping it. enough. I'm going to put the other chuck on and I'm going to reverse chuck it and then we can work on the, the shape that I want. Okay so I have the lid now reversed into the chuck so this is the top of the lid now um, and uh, I'm going to start working on the shape. I'm just going to start with, uh, with my uh, half inch spindle gouge.
Yeah, I've got a bit that chipped out just here. I hope it hasn't. Um, I hope it hasn't gone too far. I think I've still got a bit to play with. Um, but uh, it's it's shaping up quite nice. It's a nice piece of wood, this. that shape. I just put the bead on there just to continue the bead thing up through into the lid. Um, okay, I'm going to sand that up. I won't bore you with the details of sanding. I'll, uh, I'll sand it up and I'm going to just put a sanding sealer finish on it for now um, and then we can work on the insert. I'll be back to you in one second. Okay so there we go. That's the lid on the box. That's had three coats of sand and sealer on it just for now. And I didn't do the very top because obviously there's going to be a, very, a small finial going on the top. Um, I went with the beads to go with uh, to match with the ring and the, and the other beads here just to follow it up. Um, so now the next stage is I'm going to put an insert in here and uh, it's going to be basically a top hat shaped piece of uh, wood it's hollowed hollowed out it will go into the recess of the lid here and then the whole thing will go slide inside there leaving just about 10 mil at the bottom so the idea is that uh, you can put a small pair of earrings or something like that in the bottom and then put the insert in and then close the lid and when you pull the lid up it pulls the insert out it's kind of um, it's a box full of secret compartments and and things I, I have uh, I have four daughters and uh, they like things like this they like uh, intriguing boxes and, and pots so this will go to one of my daughters eventually um, when I've finished it. So uh, yeah, we'll do this insert now. Okay, so this is our other piece of wood. And uh, 40 mil is what I need. Uh, 40 mil in old money is uh, just over an inch and a half. Um, so 40 mil is just about there. So that's our total length of our insert. Just there. Now 
That's roughly the size. I've got, I've got a bit to play with anyway. So. Okay, we're down to the rough, rough size. Okay, I'm just going to size this now so it fits snugly into the lid all the way down as far as I've got the uh, the recess. So I'm just going to use my parting tool to do that. It's it's near enough the right size already at the beginning, as you can see. So it's just a matter of just taking a small bit off until the lid fits snugly on it. Okay, I think that's that's about that. I'll just spin that, see is it on straight? Yeah, that's running straight, so it tells me that it's that it's all the way down to the bottom and it's on nice and straight. Okay, I should also just run a pencil line around there. That pencil line tells me where the end of the box is. Now I want to come down this much. Okay, so the next stage now is to hollow all that out. Now obviously I don't want to go, this is bigger than this, so when I'm hollowing I need to go and leave the wall just big enough for the inside of this. And that gives us another pot. Now, like I said, I only want to be 40 mil in total in length, so I shall mark that length again. Just there. Okay. So next stage is I'm going to hollow this box out here, just inside. sand it up and put the sanding sealer on it and uh, I'll come back to you when I'm parting it off. Okay so that's that done with uh, three coats of sanding sealer. I'm just going to uh, part that off now and see does it fit into our box. Now I've left enough depth here to take a bit off the back if I need to uh, if it doesn't quite fit but I'm hoping that it does. But it's a nice piece of wood in there, so I'm going to just part that off now. Okay, I 
should just sand that knob off and uh, sand the bottom and put sand and seal on it and we'll see how it fits in our box okay so here we have it this is our little um, insert it's finished and that goes into here nice and snug and then the lid pops on the top so the idea is that you take the lid off there's a little pot there you can put bits and pieces in but there's enough room when you take that out clearance between the bottom of that and the inside of there to put something else as well so it's kind of a, a little hidden compartment as well so when you take the lid off it just looks like the box there um, you can add as many little secret compartments as you want into these um, that's the fun the fun of them and then you've got your, your obviously your box at the bottom there but it's it's they're good fun to make and they're different uh, there's not many of them around now I'm just going to turn a small finial for the top okay so I have my piece of ebony just in the chuck just holding the square and uh, I'm just going to round off this and uh, make some kind of small finial for the top the Pandora box complete uh, it's still got to get some spray lacquer on the top um, and I'll probably put some lacquer on the inside as well but uh, that's it um, part one showed us making the main body of the box and the bottom section and uh, part two we just made the lid with the finial and that's hollowed out as well just to make it a bit lighter now you could put a disc in there and still have another secret compartment in there um, these are the sort of things that I'm going to play around with and I don't know I'm going to challenge myself to see uh, see how many secret compartments I can put into them uh, they're good fun and then we've got our small little box inside that's a lot deeper so you could put a pair of earrings or a necklace in the bottom you can pop that into it hide it inside and then uh, pop your lid on top. Um, they're just a bit of fun. Uh, it, it's great for practice as well. I, I had a lot of practice with beads and coves and uh, we did some texturing. I know that wasn't on the video. I will do another video of something with texturing. Um, I'm sorry about that. And then our ebony finial on top. But uh, yeah, a lot of fun. Uh, I'm sure one of my daughters will enjoy that. Um, and of course the captive ring. Hope you've enjoyed watching this. Um, thanks for watching. Um, I'm well over 650 subscribers now, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, heading into the new year with a lot of people watching my videos and commenting. That's brilliant. If if you like what you've seen, please comment. If you haven't, if you don't like what you've seen, please comment. I like all kinds of constructive criticism. Um, and uh, if you've liked the video, then obviously let me know if you're enjoying that too. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. I'd appreciate that. Please like and share my videos. Um, until next week, thank you very much. I'll see you again. Bye-bye.